Well, welcome back to uh, two CG three and uh, lesson two, uh, week three. We're going to be learning Azika Zumba today, which is a traditional um, uh, African piece, and uh, this arrangement combines South African folk melodies with some Western African influences to create an energetic percussive piece. Uh, the arrangement focuses on the techniques of alternation, which we've been talking about in this level, string crossing, which also we've been talking about in this level, and polyrhythms, uh, rhythms, uh, two rhythms played against each other. Uh, guitar one, um, this part begins with an ahatse, another term for string muting, which we've done in nightclub. Uh, stop the strings from ringing with the left hand, just gently drape them over the strings, so that nothing happens, uh, and then strum downward on the quarter note, and up for all the others. So we've got, um, the rhythm is going to sound like this, uh, one, uh, da, 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 da. And when we do it uh, with the ahatse, it's going to sound like this. Sorry, one more time. To get the correct uh, rhythm, uh, listen to uh, this and play along with it. The main melody is in line two and uses the G major scale uh, with alternation throughout. And that melody will sound like this. Starting with M finger on string one and then alternating. Line four uses the golpe technique uh, with the rhythm of the main theme. Line five and six uh, is the lyrical section, the song-like section. Be sure to observe the ties and rests in this section. Practice the rhythm of this section as follows. And then it repeats. So it goes da, 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 da. Guitar 2. Most all of the material used in this part is also contained in part 1. Use the left hand nails on the upper bout of the guitar in the first measures. So we're going to play like this. Uh, part 2 plays the following counter melody beginning in bar 37. Moving on to guitar three. Uh, guitar three, be sure to use finger three on the second note, D note, and finger four on the third note, on the G, in bar 29. This will allow for a smooth transition from string to string on the same frets, as opposed to going finger three and finger four. It will sound like this. You can also leave finger three down on the D note the whole time. Like that. Uh, in bar 37, uh, we have a bass uh, a bass pattern, and it's going to sound like this: da 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 da. 
da 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 and when we play it it will sound like this As always, be sure to listen to the track, uh, and if there's any videos that are uploaded uh, as well, uh, please play along with those. Uh, remember, much of your work is done at home uh, when we're meeting in class. That's mostly just to rehearse what you've practiced at home.